In my team, the goalkeeper is the first attacker and the forward is the first defender. This statement by Johan Cruyff, perhaps one of the greatest figures in football of all time as both a player and coach, summarizes the philosophy that revolutionized football and brought the origin of many concepts of modern football. Cruyff was the leading player of the Netherlands in the 1974 World Cup, a team that became known as the Dutch Carousel because of its playing style, where players seemed to rotate like a carousel, something that drove opponents crazy. The Netherlands team of 1974 is one of those cases of teams that entered history even without winning the title. This is because, despite not winning the trophy, that team revolutionized football, and its influence extends to football today. In this video, we will briefly explain the playing style of the Dutch national team and how it influenced some concepts of modern football. In the 70s, Renus Mikkels, one of the most important coaches in the history of soccer, implemented a unique style of play at Ajax. This style of play became known as, Total Football. The basis of the Total Football philosophy was that soccer is a collective sport and a team must function as a unit, with all players rowing in the same direction and using their abilities to make the collective work better. The reflection on the field was that all 11 players were important for the attack to work and all 11 were important for defending. In practice, the ideas of Renus Mikkels were reflected in a team where the players did not have a fixed position. Although he had practiced this style of play at Ajax years before, the team that caught the world's attention was the Dutch national team of 1974, which Renus Mikkels himself had coached, and was based on the same Ajax team that had been trained by the Dutch coach. The Dutch team was known for their ability to control the game through ball possession, as well as their intense pressure on the opponent when they had the ball. The Holland team of 74 was a team that highly valued possession and sought to set the pace of the game patiently by circulating the ball until they found the right moment and situation to break the opponent's defense. Additionally, the team had an unbelievable dynamic for that time, managing to even change tactical systems during the game, usually alternating between the 3-4-3 and 4-3-3 and, as if changing the collective design of the team was not enough, the players would often change positions between themselves. This combination of changes, both in the tactical system and in the player's positions, could confuse the marker's reference, inducing the opponent to make mistakes and increasing the possibility of creating spaces where Holland could attack. And there is another point in which this team was revolutionary, transitions. One of the great demands of modern football is the intensity with which transitions are made. That is, the moment the team makes immediately after recovering or losing the ball. When they recovered the ball, Holland accelerated the game quickly, seeking to take advantage of the spaces caused by the opponent's momentary disorganization to advance as far as possible and when they lost the ball, the team had great coordination to press the opponent and recover the ball quickly. Perhaps this was the first version of the famous pressing after losing the ball. In addition to that, there is also the issue of the high line, which was quite unusual at the time, and the offside trap. Of course, over time, these tactical maneuvers became more refined, but the behavior of this team was extremely disruptive for the time. Even so, the team led on the field by Johan Cruyff was beaten by Germany in the final by 2-1 precisely because of the German strategy that, in short, put strong pressure on Holland's ball outlet, preventing Renus Mikkel's team from developing their characteristic game. But the story doesn't end there. Total football generated fruits that influenced football in the future. Johan Cruyff, the main Dutch player of the time, became a coach years later and in 1988, brought this philosophy of play from Holland to Barcelona, where he became one of the greatest coaches in the history of the Catalan club. He implemented a 3-4-3 formation heavily based on possession play, constant movement, and tactical flexibility, which quickly transformed Barcelona into one of the strongest teams in Europe at the time. In total, Cruyff spent eight years as coach of Barca until 1996 and trained players like Romario, Stoikov, and Ronald Koeman. Cruyff's period at Barca marked the conquest of the first champions of the Catalans. But the strongest legacy left by Cruyff at Barca was the philosophy he carried. His ideas, which were of course influenced by the total football of the Dutch in 1974, a team of which he was one of the biggest stars, greatly influenced the culture that developed at Barca. Barcelona has an institutionalized style of play, which is the famous positional play. This style is taught to its young players from a very young age, in La Mesa. In summary, positional play is a philosophy heavily influenced by total football, 
which seeks to control the playing space and manipulate the opponent to generate tactical advantages. Do you remember Barcelona in 2010-11, that team coached by Guardiola that had Messi destroying everything as a false nine? Perhaps it is the most remembered and successful example of the application of positional play. Guardiola is one of the greatest promoters of this philosophy in the world, and of course, as a creation of Barcelona, he was greatly influenced by this culture that was born there with Cruyff's arrival at the Catalan club. Another modern style of play that was influenced by total football, although not as directly as positional play, is gegenpressing, of which Klopp may be the greatest promoter. The Liverpool coach applied to the English team a system of insane pressing, using the transition moments as the most vital points of his style of play. As we mentioned earlier, total football was the style of play that sophisticated these transition moments, mainly the reaction to immediately press the opponent after losing the ball. If you like this video, you'll probably like these videos here on the channel that is appearing on the screen. I recommend you watch them too. Well, that's it, a big hug and until next time, see you!